Welcome to my SU News Channel. Hunter Biden offers himself up for public grilling by House panel probing his shady business ties. First son Hunter Biden has offered to publicly testify before the House Oversight Committee investigating his business ties, according to a copy of a letter his attorney sent to the panel obtained by the Post. Hunter, 53, agreed to testify on December 13 in a letter sent to the panel, which was first obtained by NBC News. He was subpoenaed by House Republicans earlier this month and was originally summoned to appear in a closed-door, transcribed interview. But his attorney suggested details of a private sit-down would be selectively leaked to manipulate the facts. We have seen you use closed-door sessions to manipulate, even distort the facts and misinform the public. We therefore propose opening the door, his lawyer Abbe Lowell said in the letter. Your committee has been working for almost a year without success to tie our client's business activities to his father, he said, accusing the House panel of manipulating Hunter's legitimate business dealings and history of addiction into a politically motivated basis for hearings to accuse his father of some wrongdoing. Ah, uh, LL your focus has been on this president's family while turning a blind eye toward former president, Donald, Trump and his family's businesses, some of which the family maintained while serving in office in area ripe to inform your purported legislative pursuits, Lowell added. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, Republican Kentucky, responded in a statement that panel members expect full cooperation with their initial subpoena but also agree that Hunter Biden should have the opportunity to testify in a public setting at a future date. Hunter Biden is trying to play by his own rules instead of following the rules required of everyone else, Comer said. That won't stand with House Republicans. Our lawfully issued subpoena to Hunter Biden requires him to appear for a deposition on December 13. President Biden's brother James, 73, was also subpoenaed to appear before the committee on December 6. It is unclear whether his hearing will remain behind closed doors. Additionally, Comer subpoenaed Biden family associate Rob Walker and asked for voluntary testimony from former business associate Tony Bobulinski, James Biden's wife Sarah, Hunter's former sister-in-law turned lover Hallie Biden, Hallie's sister Elizabeth Secundi and Hunter's current wife Melissa Cohen. Both Hunter and James are accused of leveraging their relationship to the president during his eight years as former President Barack Obama's vice president and for years following to negotiate business deals including in ventures involving China and Ukraine. The House Oversight Committee has followed the money and built a record of evidence revealing how Joe Biden knew, was involved, and benefited from his family's influence peddling schemes, Comer said as he announced the subpoenas earlier this month. Now, the House Oversight Committee is going to bring in members of the Biden family and their associates to question them on this record of evidence. Unlike the many lies President Biden told the American people about his family's business schemes, bank records don't lie, Comer said. These records reveal how the Bidens sold Joe Biden around the world to benefit the Biden family, including Joe Biden himself, to the detriment of U.S. interests. Comer and House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, whose panel is part of the impeachment inquiry, wrote to Lowell that his testimony is needed in order to determine whether the president should be removed from office. The committees are investigating whether sufficient grounds exist to draft articles of impeachment against President Biden for consideration by the full House, Comer and Jordan wrote. Your client is also in a position to provide information related to whether Joe Biden, as vice president and or president, 1. took any official action or affected any change in government policy because of money or other things of value provided to himself or his family, including whether he asked then-Vice President Biden to intervene in a Ukrainian investigation of a company that paid your client substantial sums of money, 2. abused his office of public trust by providing foreign interests with access to him and his office in exchange for payments to his family or him, or, three, abused his office of public trust by knowingly participating in a scheme to enrich himself or his family by giving foreign interests the impression that they would receive access to him and his office in exchange for payments to his family or him, the letter adds. This deposition will allow your client to provide answers about what services he and others provided in return for the millions of dollars the committees have identified and whether they were connected to the public office held by President Biden. The subpoena came after Comer released subpoenaed bank records showing that James Biden paid his brother $40,000 in 2017 and $200,000 in 2018 using checks labeled loan repayment that the Republicans said directly implicated the president in benefiting from foreign dealings. 
The oversight chairman said the 2017 sum was from laundered China originating funds and the 2018 payment from James' receipt of $200,000 from a troubled U.S. hospital provider which the first brother had promised to connect with a Middle Eastern investor. The White House has said there's evidence the transfers were indeed loans, though Comer aides say the money transferred to James Biden actually came from a law firm associated with multiple Biden relatives, clouding the picture. The first son raked in more than $8.3 million in foreign business deals between 2014 and 2019 later evading $2.2 million in tax payments on the income. The tax delinquencies were paid off by Hunter's sugar brother, the Hollywood lawyer Kevin Morris, who has also been sought for a transcribed interview with the Oversight Committee. Special Counsel David Weiss is apparently planning to bring charges against Hunter in Los Angeles for tax delinquency related to his overseas ventures. The first son will also head to trial next year in Delaware Federal Court for allegedly lying on a federal gun purchase form in 2018 about his drug abuse. Comer has subpoenaed eight other Biden family associates including Hunter's art dealer and a Democratic donor who bought his paintings and was appointed to a White House commission last year. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.